Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Kumi's World in the Philippines. I know it's been a while since I posted, but not a whole lot's going on. So uh, let me do a quick walk around here. Show you guys some difference, especially uh, foreigners like myself. This here, they, they call it white sand. Is it really sand? Um, yes, kind of, sort of, not really. It's actually uh, volcanic ash. So this is river sand slash volcanic ash. You can see some, obviously some lava rocks here. So anyway, they call this white sand and it's typically what they use. Now, um, I'm gonna be doing some tiling soon. And lo and behold, there's some sand that most of us would know uh, in the West. Well, they call this black sand. Well, I have to use this for tiling. Now, if I knew this existed before, I probably would have done my um, patio that, with this type of sand, but I'm definitely going to use it for my parking. It holds up better and you use less cement. Um, it is expensive, I guess. Um, usually a big old truck, big giant truck of that out of river is about, I believe, 3,500. Now, this here, there's two piles. Okay, so each pile is 1,900 pesos, which is roughly 40 bucks. So I think uh, $40, $80, maybe a little bit more for my driveway. It's going to get a little bit more wear and tear from the tires and the weight. I think that's going to be used for the uh, four inch uh, um, slab there for the uh, parking. Anyhow, I got rid of the tree stump that was over here. Long time coming for sure. Um, I want to show off the tiles that we got. Well, let me show you some things here first. Um, for the past month or so, they've been doing skim coating. Yeah, it's taking a long time, but I'm, you know, I want pretty much perfection or as close to perfect as possible. Um, I want it to be level. So the, the, the top area here, we're off about almost half an inch and the bottom is pretty straight. That has to do with different crew uh, doing different areas. It's irritating, but what can I do? It's over and done with right now. And the other part that took a long time was basically, you know, making this a bit smoother. Are they done yet? No, they got a bit more to go. Um, but uh, not bad at all. Then they're gonna clean up the floors um with water brush and so on get rid of most of the dust before i do anything else excuse me for the noise back there so we've been looking everywhere for tiles right so um at first i'm told that we i should get the italian porcelain tiles because what happens the tiles at the edge from china usually bends up like this and uh, then it won't, you won't have a smooth surface. It's kind of a bumpy surface. So we found some Italian tiles and 60 by 120, um, the really good ones, cost uh, about 1,800, 18, 1,900 pesos each. Holy cow, that, that's 40 bucks about per tile. I know it's a big, bigger tiles than normal 2020, but it's huge. So it ended up costing us six to seven thousand dollars just for tiles alone. So I got a little bit cheap, and then I did more inquiries with different tile stores. And apparently, they have some um, porcelain tiles that has some nice backing to it, and and uh, the clearance is really tight. They even dropped the tiles on top of each other to prove how flat it was. It's beautifully flat. So uh, the first store we went to in Dugupan or Kalashiao in Pangasinan, I did like some tiles, but when we went next door to this other place, I found this baby here. Now let me wipe some of the dust off of it. So check this out. Check the beauty out of that. Wow. So it's very, very shiny tiles. Um, after installed, if I get out of the shower wet, the floor is wet, I will fall and hurt myself. But I guess I'm going to have to have rugs and do something. 
wear slippers all the time and so on but this tile here is just absolutely beautiful and it is porcelain so porcelain is it's harder than ceramic. I think it's fired at a higher temperature than uh, ceramic. But this one here, it comes in a box of four. Um, let's see, what brand is it? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's see, there you go. That's the brand. So we're not gonna have any clearance when we put it down. So it's gonna be butt to butt here. It's just the way I want it. I, I hate grout. Grout is dirty. And apparently they can do it here pretty well. So then the bathroom, my wife picked out these tiles. That's nice and beautiful too. And this is some accent to, in between the tiles. So it's going to be from floor to ceiling type of tiles. But this by far is going to be in all the rooms except for the bathroom. It's just beautiful. Look at that, some random coloring. I don't know how they do that, but I like it. Now, um, if you use granite tiles, I don't know if they grind it up and they fire it up and so forth, but that's what you should not use here. The granite tiles is the one that has the edge that bends up. And most of the place that you go, you see broken tiles everywhere as granite. Now, what's interesting is the reason I ordered these black sand is because the black sand, I know it's not black, it's deep dark gray. But um, this, in order to lay the tile, in the States, all you're going to do is you're going to have a nice level surface floor. You know, cement and whatever uh, leveling materials that you use there, or wood. And then you're going to use some towel adhesive and you're going to put it on there. Well here, on top of cement, you have to do what you call a dry pack. I never heard of dry pack in my whole entire life. But what's happening is that they're going to mix this with uh, cement, okay? And they're going to um, cement and water. And what's going to happen is that it, it's like making hollow blocks, okay? There's a lot, a lot of air inside. It's mixed. It's not too much water. And what happened is there's a base here. And it's kind of airy. It's kind of like honeycomb type, type of situation. So then you're going to... Uh, anyway, you, you're going to mix it up. You're going to... Put on the floor probably about one inch make it nice and flat uh, put a tile on top make sure it's nice and even once it's it's even you're going to remove the tile then you're going to butter the tiles with some uh, towel adhesive and then put it back on and make sure it's level and you're going to do that through the whole entire house yeah very very strange from western standpoint and i believe that the reason why um it's honeycomb because well as the floor shifts, it moves, it cracks, whatever. And what happens is that the honeycomb is going to absorb some of that or it'll crack within the honeycomb, but it won't hold onto the tiles so tightly that the tiles will break as well. So that is what I learned on YouTube and other people as well. And uh, it's, I, I think it was nice flat floor and everything else I probably would have done it Western style but this is really really out of my elements so well, what, what am I gonna do so other than what you seen in the last video not too much changed at all except they've been working on the uh, the skim coating there and like I said I really want to do a good job in there after that they're gonna wipe it down with this sorry about that audio cut off there so what happens is after they do the skim coating they sand it down you have to get rid of all that dust so uh, we have to wipe it down with a wet sponge until there are no more residual residual particles left on the sponge and that's the way it has to be if you haven't done it already please like share and subscribe i appreciate you guys tuning in take care